welcome back to my channel today we're going to learn how to make the valentine's crochet tank top so we already have projects that are already lined up on the channel we have the sleeves we have the dresses now we are we also have the bralette now we are getting the tank top for those people who like vests and something more wearable and can be worn with something inside so for the materials i will use yarn the yarn that i'll be using this time is robin uh it's 100 percent acrylic and and it's a fingering weight yarn and i'll be using two strands uh, and then i'll also use a five millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors a darning needle and a measuring tape the measurements that we are going to consider for this tutorial are the widest Part of your bust and then the length that you need for your top to be so um, you're going to get your full bust measurement divided by two and we are going to work this project in panels and just like these other tutorials that we've been doing of this stitch we are going to first do the stitch demonstration and later on we shall introduce the actual piece and we shall pick it up from there so let's get started if you would like the written pattern it's already available on all my online shops and all the links of the pattern will be in the description box below as well as the links of the related um, tutorials the pieces that we've made out of this stitch so let's get started my demonstration I will do a total of 32 chains which is a multiple of 16 plus 4 chains which is a total of 36 so 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So this is my multiple of 16 plus four chains. Now, once you get that, uh, the foundation chain right, you're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook. So counting from this one, one, two, three, and into the fourth, you're going to place a double crochet. Just like that. And then from here, you're going to make a chain of three. Skip over four chains one two three four and into the fifth chain you're going to place one double crochet so we've skipped over four chains and then you're going to place one double crochet in each of the next six stitches two three four five and six and this will bring us to a total of seven double crochets as you can see here one two three four five six and seven so from there you're going to make a chain of three skip over four chains one two three four and into the next chain which is the fifth chain you're going to place a total of three double crochets one two and three all in the same chain just like that and then you're going to make a chain of three and skip over four chains and into the next seven chains you're going to place one double crochet into each one two three four five six and seven so you're going to repeat that chain three three double uh, skip over four chains three double crochets into the next chain chain three skip over four chains one double crochet in each of the next seven stitches so you're going to repeat that until you have a total of five chains left as you can see here and you should end on seven double crochets and then be left with um, five chains at the end of the row 
from here you're going to make a chain of three skip over four chains one two three four and into the fifth chain which should be the very final chain you're going to place two double crochets there one and two just like that so you can see we started off with a chain of three and one double crochet which counts as two double crochets and then we've ended with two double crochets into the very final chain so let's go on to row two for row two you're going to make a chain of three which counts as a double crochet turn your work two double crochets into the next stitch one and two then from here you're going to make a chain of three and then into the next four stitches we are going to make four double crochets together into the next four double crochets so starting with this one you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the first chain of the seven pull up a loop yarn over pull through two so you don't finish your double crochet and then yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop you'll have four loops on your hook yarn over pull through two you're left with three three loops on your hook and then yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop you'll have five loops on your hook yarn over pull through two you'll be left with four loops on your hook yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop you'll have six loops on your hook yarn over pull through two you'll have five loops on your hook and once you have five loops you're going to yarn over and pull through all the five that's how we do four double crochets together and then you're going to make a chain of five so on this group of seven double crochets you should be left with one two and three stitches but we are going to do four double crochets together starting with this stitch that has the very last double crochet in this batch so yarn over insert your hook into that stitch that has the last double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two we are doing the same exact thing as what we did for the previous four double crochets together so yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go into the final stitch of the seven pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then you have five loops left on your hook and yarn over pull through all and then from here you're going to make a chain of three one two and three and then we are going to increase the three double crochets here into five by placing two double crochets in the very first stitch one double crochet into the middle stitch and two double crochets into the third stitch which is the final stitch of the three stitches so we've increased from three to five and then you're going to make a chain of three and repeat what we did here the four double crochets together stitches so after your chain of three yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and then repeat until you have four double crochets together just watch what I'm doing or if you don't remember what to do just rewind the video and watch this part because I explained it in detail then yarn over pull through all then you're going to make a chain of three sorry chain of five not three chain five and then four double crochets together starting with the stitch with the very final double crochet of the previous batch so All right, now we've done our four double crochets together and you should see the resemblance between this part and this part they should look the same then from here you're going to make a chain of three two double crochets into the next double crochet and then one double crochet on top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row 
just like that so row two is basically done so let's go on to row three row three you're going to make a chain of three turn your work one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch chain three and then you're going to go into the middle stitch of the next chain five space sorry of the middle chain of the next chain five so this one is the chain five you're going to skip over all this and go into the third chain of the chain five and you're going to place a total of three double crochets into that middle chain just like that and then you're going to make a chain of three skip over all this and then go into the five double crochets we are going to increase the five to seven by placing two double crochets on the edge stitches so two double crochets into the first stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so you're just going to place one double crochet until you have one stitch left and then into the very last stitch which is this one you're going to place two double crochets all right so we've increased the five double crochets to seven double crochets then from here you're going to make a chain of three skip over all this and then go into the middle uh, chain of the five the chain five and you're going to place three double crochets into that middle chain just like that and then you're going to make a chain of three and you're going to skip over all this and go into the last stitches placing one double crochet in each of them and you should end with three double crochets on the edge just like we have at the beginning of the row so let's go on to row four Row 4 is going to start with a chain of 3, turn your work, 1 double crochet into the next double crochet, make a chain of 3 and then increase the next 3 stitches into 5 and by now you should be knowing how to increase. You place 2 double crochets on the edge then 1 double crochet into the middle stitches. So this is the edge stitch so it will get two double crochets so that way we've increased three double crochets to five double crochets and then from here you're going to make a chain of three and we are going to do our four double crochet together stitches so yarn over insert your hook into the first stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and repeat until you have joined Four double crochets together make a chain of five yarn over go into the very first stitch this one that has the last stitch of the previous four double crochet together stitch and you're going to place four double crochets together in each of the next stitches Okay, now we've joined the four double crochets together. Yarn over, pull through all. Chain three. Increase the next three double crochets to five double crochets. And by now you know how to do that. Then from here, you can see how the full hat looks like at this point we formed our very first full hat so after this you're going to make a chain of three and you're going to skip over one stitch and into the next stitch you're going to place one double crochet and then into the top of the chain three on the edge you're going to place one double crochet just to mirror exactly what we have at the beginning of the row Okay, so let's go on to the next row. 
uh, which will be row five you're going to start off with a chain of six turn your work and you're going to skip over all these and go into the five double crochets and increase the five double crochets to seven double crochets okay after this you're going to make a chain of three go into the middle chain of the chain five and place three double crochets chain three increase the next five double crochets to seven double crochets And after this you're going to make a chain of three skip over the next chain three space skip the next stitch and into the edge stitch which is the chain three you're going to go on top of the chain three and place a double crochet and this is what you should have now we're going on to row six for row six you're going to make a chain of three turn your work you're going to place two double crochets into the very first stitch to make a total of three double crochets chain three make four double crochets together and by now you should be knowing how to do this chain five and then four double crochets together just like this and then from here you're going to make a chain of three and increase the next three stitches to five chain three we're going to do the four double crochets together stitches so you should see the hearts forming so after your chain of three, four double crochets together. Chain five, four double crochets together. Don't forget, we always start with this stitch that has the last stitch of the previous four double crochet together stitch. Right. chain three skip over three chains and into the fourth you're going to place three double crochets one two and three so I want to show you a few things at this point row six should basically look the same as row two if you're to look at row six it's the same exact thing that we did for row two all right so after your row six you're going to repeat from rows three to six three to six i'll be having timestamps in the description box below so that you can follow along easily just repeat rows two uh three to six until you have the length of the panels that you need. all right guys basing on our stitch demonstration i ended up making a total of 16 rows for the front panel for the back panel actually this will be the back panel or the very first panel of our tank top 
and this will be the back panel that doesn't have the shaping at all so just plain rows and i did a total of 16 rows to get the length of the top that i want so we're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing for our our second panel and this is going to be the front panel that has the shaping at the front to create coverage for the bust and also create the v-neck and the tank top shaping so the back panel doesn't have any shaping just plain rows 16 rows and then I did the same exact thing 16 rows for the front panel and then we are going to start shaping our front panel into a top so you're going to have one stitch marker and it's going to mark the exact middle of our panel for mine I am marking this third chain of the middle chain five you can see if I fold this into half we have balanced both ends so um, from here we're going to start shaping the v-neck of our dress for for our tank top sorry not dress this is for the tank top i don't know why i'm saying dress i think just because we did the v-neck version of the dress already but yeah uh when you get to this point you are going to Uh, first of all, you should end on a row that resembles row 4, the one that starts with two double crochets since the chain 3 counts as a double crochet and then ends with two double crochets on the edge. So you should end on a row that resembles row 4. So from here, you're going to make a chain of 3. This is row 1 of the shaping. Make a chain of 3, turn your work. And then you're going to skip over the next double crochet, skip over the chain 3 space and then increase the next five double crochets to seven double crochets after this you're going to make a chain of three plus three double crochets into the third chain of the next chain five okay like that and then make a chain of three increase the next five double crochets to seven double crochets And from here you're going to make a chain of three sorry you're not going to chain anything after increasing your last seven double crochets your last five double crochets to seven double crochets right before the stitch marker you're going to remove the stitch marker at this point and then you're going to place one double crochet in that chain that had the stitch marker which is the exact middle of our panel so just like this and that is row one of the shaping of the v-neck so we're going on to row two and for row two you're going to make a chain of three and we're going to start the four double crochet together stitches right away so you're going to go into the first stitch pull up a loop pull through two and i hope you still remember how to do the four double crochet together stitches so four double crochets together chain five Four double crochets together so just like I demonstrated in the stitch demonstration make sure you follow those instructions after that you're going to make a chain of three and plus I'll increase the next three double crochets to five double crochets And then from there you're going to make a chain of three and then do the four double crochet together stitches separated by chain five space so you're going to repeat that all the way across in case you have more hearts and you're going to do this until you do your last four double crochet together stitch 
just like I have here. And then from here, you're going to go on top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row and place a double crochet there. So this marks the end of row two of the shaping of the V-neck. Then row three, you're going to make a chain of three, turn your work, and then you're going to place one double crochet in the third chain of the next chain five. So into the third chain, you're only going to place one double crochet there. And then you're going to make a chain of three, increase the next five double crochets to seven double crochets. So I'm coming to the end of my row but um, you're going to continue with increasing to seven and then chain three three double crochets in the third chain of the next chain five chain three increase the next five double crochets to seven double crochets and repeat that across until your hearts are done until you have only one chain five space left on your row and you're going to make a chain of three Place one double crochet into that last third chain of the last chain five of the row, like that. And then you're going to go into the very last chain three on top of it, and you're going to place one double crochet into the last stitch of the previous row. So the pattern in the middle remains constant. The only change is at the beginning and the end of the row. And as you can see, I have a very limited stretch for my demonstration, but just pay attention to the beginning and the end of the row. And then in the middle, you continue working as we were creating our hearts. So we're going on to row four of the V-neck. You're going to make a chain three, turn, and then you're going to straight away go into the seven double crochets and you're going to place your four double crochet together stitches. Just like that. Chain five. And then four double crochet together stitches. So for me at this point, I am literally at the end of my row but continue working your respective rows according to the instructions until you do your last four double crochet together stitch on your row and then you're going to skip over the next chain three you skip over the next double crochet and you place one double crochet into the top of the chain three on the edge just like that and then you're going to make a chain of three Turn your work. This is row five, and you're going to place three double crochets into the chain five of the next, into the third chain of the next chain five. Sorry, just like that, and then you're going to go on top of the last chain three and place one double crochet. So that's it for the v-neck shaping and now we are going to start creating the straps that are going to go towards the back and attach onto the back side of our top. Alright guys, so we are going to start creating our strap and the way that I want to do that is make a chain of three, turn your work and you're going to place one double crochet into the middle stitch of the three. You're going to place one double crochet chain one and one more double crochet into the same stitch and then make a double crochet into the chain three on the edge of the previous row so this is how our strap is going to look like 
So chain three, turn your work, go into the chain one space of the previous V stitch, uh, one double crochet chain one and one double crochet into the chain one space and then double crochet on top of the chain three. Chain three, turn your work, one double crochet, chain one, one more double crochet into the V stitch and then one double crochet on the edge just like that we're going to repeat this until we have the strap that we want i'll be letting you know how many rows that i did for my strap starting with the very first row that has the v-stitch which is this one so guys so I ended up doing a total of 20 rows for the strap and this measures a total of uh, about 15 inches when it's not stretched you don't want to overstretch it mm -hmm. okay it goes up to around 16 16 inches from the row that has the V stitch in the middle of the three double crochets so around 16 inches total then from here I will make a chain of one and cut my yarn leaving behind a tail to attach onto the back panel so just like that and uh, we're going to attach our yarn onto the outside of our panel our front panel here Or if you want to work in the opposite direction of the previous row then you're going to attach your yarn into the middle section where we have this double crochet that was placed in the middle where the stitch marker was so that's where I'm going to place my hook and attach my yarn there and make a chain of three skip over all this and increase the next five double crochets to seven double crochets so this should resemble row one of the shaping of the v-neck and you're going to rewind your video and do the same exact process that you've done for the first part of the v-neck shaping so this is what we have so from here you're going to make a chain of three Place three double crochets into the third chain of the next chain five something you should note about this pattern is that we don't work anything into the chain three spaces chain three increase the next five double crochets to seven double crochets Then from here, you're going to skip over the next chain three, the next double crochet, and you're not going to chain three after this. You're going to directly go on top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row, and you're going to place a double crochet there. This should resemble row one of the shaping of the V-neck on the opposite side. So just keep repeating from, rows, from row two all the way up until you have only three double crochets in the middle chain of the chain five. And then I'll meet you back at that point. For the other sizes, the written pattern has the clear instructions if you have a very big stretch across uh, your left side and right side.
all right guys i'm at that point where i have three stitches into the middle chain of the chain five just like we had here before we did the strap um we're now going to start creating the strap just like we did for our very first one so you're going to make a chain of three turn your work and then you're going to go into the middle stitch of the three double crochets with one double crochet chain one and one more double crochet which creates a V stitch and then go into the top of the chain three on the edge of the previous row and place a double crochet so we're going to continue building our strap just like we did for the first one for the same exact number of rows that we had on our first one so go all the way I told you I had a total of 20 I guess 25 rows yes 25 rows for my strap but you can do as long as you want depending on the fitting that you're going for and depending on your size so just keep um, trying on your tank top so that you get the right fit for yourself and then yeah the length of the strap is going to determine how low or how high your top is so if you want yours a little bit lower that means you consider longer straps and if you prefer it a little bit high then you consider shorter straps so let me go ahead and work my straps creating the V stitch in the middle and then the double crochets on the edge until I have the same exact number of rows for my second strap just like the first one Okay, so I'm done with my second strap and I'll get rid of this loose end, the one that's in the middle of our top, where we attached to create our second coverage. And this is what you should have. This is the shaping at the top of the front panel. The back panel is still plain, just like we left it before. So you're going to fold over your straps so that they get to this level before the decreases that row there at row 16 and you're going to introduce your back panel and make sure the hearts are facing up so you're going to introduce your back panel and put it on top like this Okay. Then from here you're going to get a darning needle or you're going to use this tail to attach the pieces together. So we're going to first attach the straps and I want to place my straps into the third chain sorry my straps into the chain five here in the middle of this hat because that's where they look well placed so i have a total of one two three four around one two three four five stitches so i'm going to start with the very first chain into the first stitch then the second chain then the third chain into the next stitch then the fourth chain into the next and then the fifth chain just make sure the strap is well attached that's all that matters just like this and then from here you're going to weave in your tail just go in and out of a few stitches back and forth so that you can secure your yarn and then from here you're going to cut your yarn and do the same exact process for your second for your second strap attach it just like we did the first one in the middle of a heart on this side
Okay, so from here, you're going to weave in your tail. And then cut your yarn. And then now we're going to start draining the sides of the tank top. So you can use either a darning needle or a crochet hook. I prefer to use a crochet hook for these stitches. And I, I'm going to just place two single crochets into each and every row on the side of my top. So grab your yarn and hook and you're going to start attaching from the base all the way up. So into each and every row we are placing two single crochets. Make sure you're working this on the wrong side of your work because this is going to be the seam line and we don't want it to be visible on the right side of our work. So we're going to drain two single crochets into each and every row until the back panel is finished. The back panel is the shorter one that doesn't have the shaping of the v-neck. Alright, so we are placing our last two single crochets in the last row of the back panel, just like that. And then you're going to make a chain of one and cut your yarn. This is what the seam line will look like on the side of the tank top. And when you turn to the right side, this is exactly what we have. We don't have a seam line here. And. Uh, you're going to repeat the same exact thing on the opposite side. So join the two panels together until the back panel is finished. All right, so we are through with the second seam line or the second joining of the tank top and at this point everything should make sense now we are going to turn our work onto the wrong side the right side sorry because we've been creating the seam lines on the wrong side of the work and when you turn your work onto the right side you should have something that looks like this it's a v-neck shaping with straps and yeah that's basically it that's how our tank top is made you're going to go ahead and weave in all your ends and for the larger sizes or uh anyone who wasn't within the category that i was demonstrating for please make sure you check out the written pattern it will be available for you to up to purchase because if i was to demonstrate each and everything here it was going to take forever so uh, that's it for today's video this is how everything came out we have a pretty tank top for our valentine season and thanks for watching guys i'll see you in my next video bye